What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to share with you guys the new and improved case by Ulanzi and that is this right here, the V2 Pro. Before I go any further, I just wanted to point out that I'm not being sponsored by Ulanzi in any way, nor am I being paid. Ulanzi have simply contacted me, asked me to check out their product, I obliged. So here I am to give you guys an honest and unbiased review on the Ulanzi V2 Pro. All that coming right up. Originally, Ulanzi came out with the V2, and that is this case right here, minus the tripod and the typical GoPro mount. It was just an all plastic case with a cold shoe mount, but its most standout feature was that it had a compartment specifically designed to house your mic adapter, which sat inside this compartment right here. And it is a great case, even to this day. No other manufacturer was designing cases that was able to hold or accompany your mic adapter. These cases were specifically designed for the GoPros Heroes 5, 6 and 7. So if you had any of those, you were able to use this case. Now, just to give you an idea of how much thought has gone into this new Ulanzi V2 Pro, I wanted to point out another GoPro case that was also highly sought after, and that is this right here. These two cases were by far the most sought after cases, and with good reason. The V2, as I just stated, it had a mic adapter compartment, and this aluminium case for the simple fact that it was made of aluminium so it was built really well it was sturdy and very solid and it also had its cold shoe mount with a 52 mil interchangeable lens and the fact that it had two quarter inch screw threads allowed you to add different types of accessories it just depends on how you build your camera case now we have the new and improved v2 pro designed by ulanzi this time instead of just creating a case Ulanzi have gone all out and combined the best of both worlds when it comes to these two cases. Now bear in mind, Ulanzi only created the V2 and this V2 Pro. The aluminium case is designed by all different types of manufacturers. It just depends which one you buy. Now with the V2 Pro, they have also added a couple of accessories in order to give you the best GoPro user experience. In the box, you have four pieces and that gives you the ability to shoot with versatility. They have made minor changes to the case. However, in the end, I still believe that this is probably the best GoPro vlogging setup. First off, of course, you have your Ulanzi case. And this is it right here. This is the new case. It's very similar to the old case, except they've made a couple of minor changes. Now, I'm going to point them out for you and just give you an idea of some of the pros and cons to their new design. First off, I can see that the back case is still the same, the way that it slides out. I just also wanted to point out that I've already done a review on this V2 case. So if you want to take a look at that review, just to give you an idea of what this case is like on its own, then I'll leave a link up here and uh, you can check out that review. Getting back to it, the case is basically the same. However, as you can see, they've now eliminated the typical two bar GoPro mount and they've added a quarter inch screw thread to it. The pro and con here is that you no longer have that swivel effect, being able to tilt your camera up and down. So say you're filming from a, a higher angle and you wanted to angle your camera down. You no longer can do that unless you purchase an extra accessory, which is something like this right here. Basically, this is a quarter inch screw thread, which then adapts to your typical GoPro mount. This would then screw into the bottom of your new Ulanzi V2 Pro case and will then give you that swivel effect. Firstly, I'm going to put it together without the mount just to show you what it looks like all together. Now, this is it right here, but I'm going to put it together so you guys can see for yourself how easy it is to put it together. I can also see that they've made a minor change to the shape of the mic adapter compartment. Usually, it's just a flat square bit like this. The case is basically the same. It has the cold shoe mount as well and the adapter in order to raise your microphone or light source a little bit higher just in case it's in your field of view that's a little bonus feature right there also in order to accompany this quarter inch screw thread i can see that inside they have raised the two rails which help to hold the mic adapter in place so that it doesn't move around as you're filming on the go because as you know if you shake around your camera a lot and your mic adapter isn't secured properly, it's going to slide out and then get in the way of your footage. That's a neat little improvement right there as well. If they didn't raise it, then once you screw in your tripod or whatever accessory you're using with a quarter inch screw thread, it would then damage your mic adapter. Another little added feature I can see, 
So if you take a close look at the lens here, you can see there's a tab here. There's another one on this side right here also. And it seems they have made that for good reason. Ulanzi have now combined the best of both worlds. And by that I mean, a lot of people were complaining about not having a 52mm interchangeable lens on this case. Now, I have to give credit to Ulanzi because it seems they have thought of it all. They have now put together a clip-on 52mm interchangeable lens where you can simply clip it on and off. And there you have it guys, a clip-on 52mm interchangeable lens. So if you had a case like this or if you purchased something like this which is a 52mm lens kit, you can simply use the lens off your previous aluminium case if you have one by unscrewing it. So I'll just show you what you can do. You can simply take the 52mm lens off the aluminium case and screw it onto your Ulanzi V2 Pro clip-on lens. And the best thing is if you also have a lens cover for your 52mm lens, you can simply use it and add it on and there you have it guys a lens cover for your 52mm interchangeable lens. Even though this doesn't come in the package itself, the lens nor the lens cover, these are also very accessible if you just look for it on eBay or most um, camera accessory websites. However, I do recommend to check AliExpress or eBay. These two websites are probably um, the best sites in order to find these cheap products from. With the clip-on feature, it makes it so much more user friendly for GoPro users. You don't have to worry about mounting it in any way. All you have to do is clip it on and off and you are good to go. Rather than having to unscrew it or you know, use a little screwdriver to unmount it, it simply clips on and off, allowing you to quickly put it together and also take it apart so that you can store away your uh, camera case quick and easy. So that makes it extremely user friendly, which is also something that I believe is important when it comes to getting the right case for your GoPro shooting. You want something that is easy to put together, light, portable, um, versatile and durable. With this clip-on feature, they've also added another lens cover. So if you are not using your 52mm interchangeable lens and you're just using your GoPro on its own, or you have something like this, which is basically a lens kit for your GoPro. So you would unscrew your GoPro lens here and then add one of these lenses and replace the lens on the GoPro and it would give you the same user experience for you to shoot different types of footages with using different filters. In a case like that, you could then use a lens cover that Ulanzi have added to the V2 Pro. Clip it on so that you can now protect your lens. It really seems that Ulanzi have thought of how to put together the best GoPro vlogging setup for all GoPro users. And I really have to hand it to them. They have really outdone themselves this time. Just to recap quickly, you get your GoPro case, you get your clip-on lens, and you get a lens cap. And last, you get this external cold shoe mount. And that's the four pieces you get in this box, all together. With this external cold shoe mount, it's totally up to you whether you decide to use something like this. Of course, you could use it without it. You mount it to a tripod with a quarter inch screw thread, mount it on, clip on your 52mm lens and continue to shoot. However, with the old case, it only had the cold shoe mount on its own. Now, you have the option of mounting this external cold shoe mount so that you can add another accessory side by side as well as on top of the case itself. Its predecessor, the V2 here, the only way you were able to mount a light source and a camera was if you had something like this, which is, was a three-way mount, so that you could mount your light source on the side and your microphone on top or side by side. Or another option would be if you had a light source with cold shoe mounts, such as this right here. This light source has three cold shoe mounts. If you were to mount something like this on your old case then you could mount your microphone on top or side by side which is what I used to do. With the V2 Pro vlogging setup, Ulanzi have put together a GoPro vlogging setup that will most likely accompany most of your needs. When it comes to shooting the two most important features would be your external microphone and a light source depending on the situation. If you're shooting in daylight then 
an extra light source isn't going to matter but if you're shooting in a place where the light is a problem then an added light source would definitely help in order to get the best possible footage. Now you Lansi have added this accessory so that you can do that. With this added external cold shoe mount, you Lansi have put a rubber piece where the camera case mounts to so that it doesn't move around when you attach it. And they've also added the extra cold shoe mount for the extra accessory and one, two, three, four, five quarter inch screw threads in order to give you the ability to mount your tripod where you please depending on the weight and how you put together your vlogging setup. For instance, just say you're going to mount a bigger light source or your microphone is a little bit larger and you mount it with your GoPro on one side, then it's going to add more weight to that side. Therefore, Ulanzi have also added another quarter inch screw thread directly underneath your screw that attaches to your GoPro case. So when it comes to putting together your vlogging setup, you have the option of adding your tripod in any of these six, one, two, three, four, five, six quarter inch screw threads and balance your setup out so that if you do use a tripod and decide to sit it on the table, wherever it is that you're filming, it would help to balance out so that it doesn't topple over as you shoot. They've definitely put a lot of thought into how this whole vlogging setup is put together. And you know, I have to give it to you Lansi once again. They definitely did think of everything and it seems they've taken on all the feedback from all the different users that used to use their V2 product. And they've definitely come out with a vlogging setup for GoPro users that gives you the best user experience, making it user friendly and also adaptable to many different types of situations. Now, I'm going to put together this whole setup just to give you an idea of how good, just how thought out this whole setup is. Now, I have my mic adapter here and my GoPro Hero 7 Black. So I'm going to put that in first. I'm going to add the GoPro into the case. In order to put your GoPro in, you just press on this tab here. You see this little square tab right there. Press on it and then slide it out. You add your GoPro in by just pushing it in like so. And then replace your backing piece, just like that. You just push it in and it locks in and as you shake it there is no free play that's definitely something that you want when it comes to getting a case the last thing you want is for it to be shaking around and making noises as you're filming on the go next we're going to add the mic adapter in you push it in from the bigger opening where the two rails are push it in help it out with your finger and then push it right on through when it comes to installing your type c connection to your gopro even on the back of the box, Ulanzi have also recommended how you should install it in order to get the best possible connection without damaging anything. What you don't want to do is simply bend it down and plug it in like so. That's not going to work well. Bend it down towards the back like so, and then plug it into your Type-C connection. Now that's what it should look like. If you wanted to use an external monitor, you still have the option of plugging it into your micro HDMI connection. Some people might do it the other way, where it curves the other way. That's all fine, but if you're going to use an external screen, you want to mount it this way so you still get access to it. With just the mic adapter and the GoPro installed, it's actually quite heavy. So, giving you the option of all these quarter inch screw threads was a good improvement to get the best possible balance. As I shake the case around, the mic adapter doesn't slide out whatsoever. Because the mic adapter is also made of a rubberized material and you have the two rails inside this mic adapter compartment, it gives friction to the mic adapter. It doesn't move at all. That is a great design right there. Next, you have your lens cap or your 52mm interchangeable lens. Now I'm just going to show you what the final product can look like when you actually put some thought into it. and put together a couple of accessories in order to get the best possible experience out of this vlogging setup. I'm going to add a light source right now. So here I have a light source and here I have a microphone. Then you plug your microphone in and here I have a tripod. Now, because it's a bit heavier on the side of the camera and you have your quarter inch screw thread directly under your screw for the case, you can add your tripod directly under. And as you can see, it still balances very well. Now, this is a, a better tripod because it has a tilt feature. 
So I can tilt this whole setup as I please. Not all tripods are going to allow you to do that. For instance, this one right here. It's a small tripod and you don't get any tilt feature. How it stands is exactly how it's going to remain. One of the pros and cons here, like I said before, was that you didn't have the swivel effect of being able to now swivel the camera up, tilt the camera up and down. And that's something that I definitely want to have. So I'm going to add this to it now and show you that you can still get the swivel effect if you go out and get yourselves one of these adapters. Now, just the black piece on this alone is only about $2 depending on where you get it from. So it's a very cheap addition in order to give you that swivel effect. Now I'm going to add this just to show you that you can still get that swivel effect. I'm going to add the adapter to it so I get my swivel effect back. There we go. And now all I have to do is add the tripod to it. So I'll screw that in. And there you go guys. Now you still have your swivel effect. I can tilt it as I please. I strongly do recommend for you to get one of these little adapters. It's very cheap. So basically, this is how I would put together my setup so that I could get the best possible footage and the best audio quality. You need your mic adapter so that you get the best quality audio and you need a light source in case you're in a situation where lighting is an issue. And most importantly, what is the point of using a mic adapter if you don't have an external microphone? And there you have it guys, the, the Yulanzi V2 Pro GoPro Vlogging Setup. The best GoPro Vlogging Setup by Yulanzi, the V2 Pro. It definitely gives you the ability to shoot with versatility, it's durable, compact, lightweight, and most definitely, you're going to get the best bang for your buck. Yulanzi have released this for about $19.95 USD. The old case was about $12 to $15. So, you know, with the added accessories and the thought that has gone to putting together a GoPro vlogging setup to give you the best experience, you definitely cannot go past this V2 Pro Ulanzi case. Now, if you're interested in something like this, uh, Ulanzi have left me a link if you guys are interested. I'll leave the link in the description below. So if you're interested, um, be sure to click on that link. And there you have it, guys. The Yulanzi V2 Pro, the best GoPro vlogging setup. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off.